The retirement of Manchester United's manager Alex Ferguson may be bad news for the club's soccer players, but could it also be bad news for the club's investors? Peter Nurse is here to tell us why Ferguson is so tied up with the club's success. Peter, the a club was actually floated on the New York Stock Exchange last August. Um, why the New York Stock Exchange? Well, initially, the, the club was, uh, was, was going to be floated in Singapore. Um, they have a very big fan base in, in that part of the world. Um, but the market conditions at the time, uh, it wasn't going down very well. Um, so uh, they, they went and looked in New York. The recent, um, Obama had recently signed a Jobs Act uh, April 2012, I think it came into law, and that cut the costs for, for smaller companies to IPO. So there was a financial uh, reason behind uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, and also it is owned by an American largely, it Malcolm is Glazer, because he bought it back in 2005 for $1.47 billion, right? That's correct, yes. And he was meant to have taken on quite a lot of debt uh, with that purchase, something which caused a few rankles among the Man United supporters. Okay, but how has the company done basically since then? When are the last results out? The last results were for, for this quarter and they've done very well. Uh, the, the stock itself was, uh, was floated at $14 a share. It's now trading over $18 a share. The company uh, made profits of uh, over three and a half million pounds. That's uh, in, in dollars, that's a about five, five, five and a half five million. And a half million. Five point six, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's done very well. The share price has appreciated substantially uh, since its flotation. Okay, it's very interesting because, of course, Ferguson has been at the top of this club, the manager of this club, for 25 years. So he really is entwined with all its successes and losses. He is. Over 25 years, in fact. I think it's 27 he's coming up to now. But, but before, he, before he arrived, the club had not won the league <coughs> title that in, the, in, in England, the, the major trophy, for over 25 years. The club, the largest club in England, had been in the doldrums. <coughs> His arrival and sub sub subsequent success has been nothing short of uh, very impressive. Because essentially what, they've won 13 of these titles now? I mean, what is now known as English Premier League. He has won him, he, under, under his, under uh, his manager. <laughs> you he think he was the one out on the field uh, when yes. he was talking <laughs> Under his manager, they've won 13, 20 in all. They, they, they recently uh, uh, achieved uh, just two weeks ago. So off Ferguson goes. Who's going to replace him? I'm sure there's lots of speculation. Well, it would be a really plum job, for, so there will be lots of people interested. The main person who's been linked is uh, Jose Mourinho, the uh, Real Madrid manager. Um, he, he, he has said he wants to come back to the Premiership. And the other person who's also been talked about is the Everton manager, David Moyes. Brilliant. Thank you, Peter.